In this video, we are going to discuss about linear transformations. So I'm going to first write the definition of a linear transformation. So V and W are vector spaces. And I'm going to take a map between V and W. So let T be a map from V to W. And I'm going to call uh, this T as a vector space, uh, as a linear transformation. So T is a linear transformation. If T satisfies two properties, the first property is T of U bar plus V bar should be equal to T of U bar plus T of V bar. The second property that it should satisfy is T of K into U bar should be equal to K times T into T of U bar. This K is a scalar, which I'm going to take a real number for our video. So these two properties, if, are satis if, if they are satisfied, then that T is called as a linear transformation. So example, if I give you that T is a map, which is from vector space R2 to the vector space R2. So pictorically, it means that you have your R2, this is your X, X, Y plane, and I'm having a map T from R2 to R2 itself. Okay. This T map is said to be a linear map. If the above two properties are satisfied. So suppose I give you that the T is a linear map. And if we are interested in finding what is T of three U bar plus four V bar. So according to the above definition, T of U bar plus V bar must be equal to T of U bar plus T of V bar. So here it will become T of three U bar plus T of four V bar. So this T separates out, it separates out in this fashion by the first property. And this three further can also come out because of the second property because T of KU is equal to KTU. So this will be equal to three times T U bar plus four times T V bar. So if I'm given that T is a linear map or T is a linear transformation, then T of three U bar plus four V bar will be equal to three times T U bar plus four times T of V bar. So this is the way a linear transformation works. Now, suppose I take a T, suppose I take a T, which is from R2 to R2, and I'm defining T as a map from, or as T takes the pair X comma Y, and the output is equal to mod X comma mod Y. Okay. Let us check the second property. We will check the second property of a linear transformation, whether it is true or not. So I want to check that is T of K U bar, is it equal to K times T of U bar? Okay, this we want to check where K is a real number. So K can be any real number, which is positive, negative, it can be anything. So let me look at the left hand side. When I look at the left hand side, I'm having T of K U bar, which is equal to U bar is a vector in R2. So U bar, I'm going to write it as X comma Y. And so this will be equal to T of K into X comma Y, right? Which is equal to T of KX comma KY. Now, what is T of KX comma KY? As per the given formula of T of XY, it says that T of XY is equal to mod X comma mod y. So what will be T of kx ky? It will be equal to mod kx comma mod ky, right? T of first component comma second component is equal to mod of the first component comma mod of the second component, which is nothing but mod k mod x comma mod k mod y. This is my simplification of the left hand side. Now, if I try to simplify the right hand side, the right hand side is k of t u bar, which is equal to k of t of u bar is nothing but t of x comma y, which is equal to k 
this is nothing but mod x comma mod y and that is equal to k mod x comma k mod y do you see that the left hand side and right hand side are actually not equal because left hand side has a mod k mod x and mod k mod y and here you have k mod x and k mod y so left hand side is not equal to right hand side so the second property is not verified so this t is not a linear transformation because the second property of the linear transformation fails so clearly i can declare here that t is not a linear transformation if you want it to be a linear transformation it should satisfy both the properties the first property also and the second property also i didn't check the first property i directly checked the second property and i got that this for the second property fails to hold therefore this t that i'm mentioning here t of x y is equal to mod x mod y cannot be a linear transformation now in the second question we are going to again take a t which is from r2 to r2 and i'm going to define the t as t of x comma y is equal to i'm going to take square of both the components i'm going to take x square and y square and i'm going to check whether is t is uh, is t a linear transformation okay so how will i do that so what i will do is i will directly check the second property first and uh, then let's see what happens with the second property so what is the left hand side of the second property it is t of k u bar and the right hand side is equal to k into t of u bar both the things should come equal if it, if this happens then i will check the first property so this means that this is equal to t of k u bar is nothing but x comma y which is equal to t of kx comma ky now what does t do t takes first component and makes the square of it t takes the second component and makes the square of it this is how my t works so what is t of kx ky it will give me kx whole square comma ky whole square which is nothing but k square x square comma k square y square let us see what happens to the right hand side now k times t of u bar means t of sorry let me make a correction here so it is k into t of x comma y which is equal to k into t of x y is given by what it is given by x square comma y square and this k will multiply inside and it will give me k x square comma k y square so you see the left hand side and right hand side are clearly different so lhs is not equal to rhs so the second property fails and therefore we will not check the first property and therefore this t is also not a linear transformation now let us take in the third example i'm going to take t from uh, r2 to r2 and i'm going to define the map t as t is taking x comma y to 2x plus y comma x plus y and i'm going to check is t a linear transformation okay so this is our question so let us check as usual i will check this for, i will check the second property first i'm going to check t of k u bar and is it equal to t k times t of u bar so this is my lhs so this is equal to t of k u bar is nothing but x comma y this k will multiply inside and it will become t of k x comma k y which is equal to now what is t of k x comma k y look at the of uh, the formula of t it says that t of x comma y will become 2 times x so here it will become 2 times k x plus the second component the second component is y in our problem the second component is k y so k plus k y comma the addition of the first component and the second component who is our our first component and second component in this year, in this part the first component is kx the second component is ky so here i am going to write what kx plus ky you can see that k can common come out throughout from the bracket of uh, both the components so this will become 2x plus y comma x plus y so this is my simplification of left hand side now let us try to simplify the right hand side it is equal to k into t of u bar u bar is x comma y which is equal to k into t of x y 
is directly given to us. So I will write down that directly, which is 2x plus y comma x plus y. And I clearly see that left hand side and right hand side are equal, right? Both the sides are the same. So LHS is equal to what? LHS is equal to RHS. So the second property is verified. Now we have to check the first property. What is the first property? The first property says that T of U bar plus V bar, it should be equal to how much? It should be equal to T of U bar plus T of V bar. Okay. So let me start with the left hand side now. So T of U bar, I'm going to say U bar is X comma Y plus V bar. I'm going to say X dash plus Y dash. Okay. And this is equal to T of X, Y plus x dash comma y dash there is a comma here i am written a plus here sorry x dash comma y dash so what is x y plus x dash y dash so obviously it will be x plus x dash comma y plus y dash right this is equal to what is t of x plus x dash y plus y dash it is equal to if you remember the formula it was two times the first component so it was two times x plus x dash plus y means the second component is y plus y dash comma the second component was addition of both the components so it is addition of this component and this component so it will be what x plus x dash plus y plus y dash okay this is at the most i can simplify the left hand side at the mo if you want to still simplify you can add uh, multiply this two inside and you'll get 2x plus 2x dash plus y plus y dash comma x plus x dash plus y plus y dash right now let us simplify the right hand side so what is the right hand side so t of u bar which is x comma y plus t of v bar which is i am taking x dash comma y dash what is this equal to this is equal to i hope you remember what was my t of x y let me write it here T of x y was what 2x plus y and x plus y so what will be t x y here i will write i will write here 2x plus y comma x plus y plus what will be t of x dash comma y dash here wherever there is x y i'm going to replace it by x dash y dash so i'm going to get what 2x dash plus y dash comma x dash plus y dash Right. And let us add this. So the first component will get added to the first component, which will be equal to what? 2x plus y plus 2x dash plus y dash comma. Second component will get added with the second component. It is x plus y plus x dash plus y dash. Correct. Do you see that the left hand side is 2x plus 2x dash. Here also I have on the right hand side, I have 2x plus 2x dash plus y plus y dash here also i have here i have x plus x dash y plus y dash x plus x plus x dash y plus all terms are there so the left hand side and right hand side are actually what the left hand side and right hand side are here also they are equal this means both the properties are satisfied and therefore now the t that we are talking about is actually a t is a linear transformation